Let's take a look at how to share links and files in Edmodo so that it's in a specific place that can always be found. Posting into the group um, with a note or an assignment is a great way to share resources within that group. But as more posts come in, that's going to start to sink down and eventually go away, where you'd have to keep scrolling down to the bottom to find it. So we're going to use the library feature to create folders where we can share um, anything that we want to share with a group and have that place to always come back to. So I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to create a folder. So just like on a computer or in Google Docs, we're just going to go ahead and create a folder. So I'm going to uh, make this folder the name of the session that I'm doing. And then you can see it automatically gives you the option to, to choose who you want to share that with. So I'm going to share that with, with this group of people that should have access to this, these session resources. Once I'm in that folder, I'm going to go ahead and just add whatever it is that I want to add. I can add links, I can add uh, Google Docs, I can add files, pictures, whatever it is. To start with, I'm going to pull a link that I've copied into my library so that I can share it with the group. So I'm going to choose Add to Library, choose Link, and then paste in that address may or may not give it a title automatically. You can always change the title. And for common websites, you can see it'll, it'll even bring up a little preview. Now to put that in the folder where I want it, I'm going to click on it and choose to put it in the folder for classroom management. That's where it goes. And now it's in there. I'm also going to add a file to the classroom management folder. So once I find that file on my computer, I'm going to go ahead and attach it. And again, choose to put it in the folder for classroom management. Now I want to make sure that the folders are shared with the groups that we want to have access to that. So I'm going to go into that folder, and over on the right-hand side, you can see it gives you all your different groups, and you're going to choose who you want to have access to the folder. And now that I've checked the appropriate group, from their home page, um, when they're on that group, they're going to be able to see over on the right-hand side the, all the different folders that have been shared within that group. So that, that works perfectly for a conference environment or professional development where people are sharing uh, different links and resources um, during different sessions, and we want everyone who's at that event to have access to all the resources.